Hello, today, we are going to see Minecraft mobs take the political compass test. Not every mob took this test since most mobs would be boring. These 19 mobs made the cut, villager, wandering trader, iron golem, enderman, piglin, wolf slash dog, wither skeleton, dowardion, elder dowardion, pillager, evoker, witch, piglin brute, zombie, ender dragon, and the wither boss, plus, some extras bc I feel like it. The villager is the first mob to take the test, they are libright because they worship the emerald. Wandering traders are similar. Although, why AI more useless? Despite working with villagers, golems are authorite. This is due to them being more okay with a strong state. Overall, the enderman is a centrist. This is due to them being more interested in teleporting than anything else, if you want to know why the piglin is communist. Watch the piglin national anthem. The wolf's result took traits both in game and in real life, so, their result is due to the collective nature of wolf packs. Wither skeletons fascists led by Hitler. Don't ask. Dowardions are centrists because they are death machines that care about the environment. And, Elder Guardians are authoritarian Guardians. Don't ask why they are Oth left. Illagers are Minecraft's pirates. So, they are located in Oth left like pirates IRL. Evokers, too. The Piglin Brute largely agrees with Piglins. Witches are the first Libleft mob. This is because they are environmentalists who make and use drugs. Zombies are centrist chads. They don't like politics just want to grill brains. The Ender Dragon is an autocrat but is relatively hands off. The Wither is a Wither Skeletons who wants all death for himself. Most mobs are creepers. No strong political opinion due to lack of intelligence. Steve is here because most Minecraft players are here. In Minecraft, we do whatever we want whenever we want it. Kind, of similar to Herobrine. Remember to like and subscribe to this video. Bye.